are you doing today? Who's Vicky? And today's subject is how do I start creating a website? Now, normally you would never see me going around with hair like this. This is my busy hair mum do. And um, got my kids off to kindergarten, came home, doing home office, um, had a little bit of time in my lunch break. I'm like, right, perfect. I'm going to tell you guys how I found a page builder that's really, really easy to use for creating my website because I don't have time <laughs> and basically I don't have a clue and I don't have the patience to like create a website from scratch and also I had no idea where to find like the right template to look for. And I didn't really have that much time on my hands. I mean, you can go to wonderful websites and there's one called Theme Forest. Amazing. Like I took one look at it and I was like, oh my God, I'm going to spend the next week going through this. And then you have to press on each one and go through it. And I'm like, ah, no way that I just can't do that. I just really literally do not have time for that in my life. And um, I went and asked in my online community that I'm part of, for uh, learning how to build websites and how to market online. Um, luckily, got a few suggestions. So I went to check out three main suggestions. So like, basically, the only thing I really cared about was not programming, really no programming involved, just drag and drop. Because it is that simple nowadays. If it wasn't that simple, I probably wouldn't have a website by now. I would still be right at the beginning step, probably. <laughs> There were two main page builders that I'd heard of. One is called Divi, D-I-V-I, and the other one is called Elementor. So the bit of research that I did do was uh, looking up online, looking up on YouTube about comparisons between the two because they're supposed to be really, really similar. Um, in the end, I did choose to go for Elementor because the comparison was a tiny bit better for Elementor and also because the pricing package was a bit friendlier for my budget. So what I will do is instead of going on and on and on about it now, it's better just to see what it does. So I will go into my laptop, give you a quick run through of just to show you how easy it is to use and like someone like me who's a working mum and had, has hardly any time in the evenings to really sit down and completely build a website, how I managed it. So let's go on over to my laptop and I will show you how to do it. Elementor is really easy to find online. Just put in um, elementor.com and you will come to their main page. You can have a look around, see how funky it looks, check out you know, ideas, how they put pages together. Uh, I was really attracted simply by the colors how easy it is to scroll up and down uh, of course the pricing plan very important for me i needed it for one website so i went for the 49 dollars a year price um, in euros or pounds and a little bit less i was very happy to pay this to cover me for one year um, there is a free version of elemental which i recommend you to start off with uh, doesn't hurt just to have a play around here. You can see you've got a couple of the basic elements in there Actually, you can do quite a lot with what you were given for free It's then when you start getting a bit more funkier with your website so you want pop-ups to happen Perhaps you want a newsletter that pops up on the page Halfway through scrolling down the page getting a bit more technical just as you learn more and more and more about your website then that would be a time when you can consider upgrading to going to pro. Let me show you what it looks like. So let's go into my dashboard at Oh My Mama Body. To install Elementor, you need to go to your plugins and add new. When you get onto your plugin page, you search for Elementor, just Elementor. I've already searched for it, so it's coming up. Let me try that again. Elementor. Now you already know the color of the logo from having a look at the page before, so you know you're picking the right one. Then you would click on it to install now. 
like you can see on this one, I've already got it active within my website, so I don't need to do this right now. But what you do is you just press install, and then once you've installed the plugin, you'll have the, the notice here will change to activate, and you activate. And once you've activated Elementor, it will pop up here on your side menu. To use Elementor right from the beginning, I recommend simply going into pages, adding a new page, and simply having a play around with it. I'll show you some basic tips and tricks so you can see how straightforward it is to use. First, this is the WordPress main view. You need to give your page a title. We will call it Elementor. Uh, review. As you can see, I've got Yoast SEO installed. If you haven't got this plugin, it's a lovely plugin for free. I can recommend it for you for your SEO, search engine optimization. It helps you out with your keywords. It gives you a good scoring, um, gives you hints and pointers to say how you could increase your um, you know, your readability when you've finished writing your page. And also here, this is your snippet, which um, would show up on Google. So if I was to put in the keywords on Google Elementor Review, it's quite likely that then Google would find it because this is the keyword in my title. And this is the description we would then add to the page. But that's more for another day. Right now, we want to have a look at how Elementor works. So I'm just going to save this as a draft. And we will now go into edit with Elemental. We don't need to do anything else in the WordPress area. I'll just give it a couple of seconds to load up. Here we are. Now, as you can see, I've already got some bits and bobs set up on my pages. Elemental has some wonderful elements. Um, you can set up a header and a footer to show up on every page. You can put links into any of your social media accounts, however you like to design it. So if you were starting this off from completely scratch, then you would not have these menus here like I have. You would have a blank page. Now, the first thing you want to do is go to the page settings, which is this little cog down here. And this title, as you can see, we still have the WordPress view. You hide the title straight away. And the page layout, I'm going to change to Elemental Canvas. So a canvas is a very blank picture. Now, that header and footer that we saw before, they disappeared whilst we're designing this page. But when I publish the page, they will get shown again. So it's very handy. Now, here on the left, these are the widgets which you would get with Elemental Basic. So actually quite a lot of cool stuff that you've got in there without having to upgrade to Pro. I'll just show you a quick Look at what Pro offers you. You can put forms in there like a contact form, blog posts, you can organize them nicely. A portfolio is when you're organizing you know, lots of different articles or pictures with descriptions. A navigation menu, this is your drop down menu at the top of the page, and so on and so on. There's a lot more goodies in there um, that you can have a lot of fun with once you get the hang of the basics. So let's go back to the basics. Right. So what would I like to do here? Well, <clears throat> first things first, let's put in a section. So it's drag and drop as easy as can be. You pull it over. There it goes. And I've got my first bit of sections on there now i will go back again to this icon here this takes me back to my widgets now i've just put in what looks like a layout and you need to then fill it out so i think right at the beginning i would love to just put an image in here and then go back over here and then i think on the right a little bit of text that's dragged and dropped over now, to change the text is easy. We can write, hello, welcome 
to, if I could spell properly, let's try again. Welcome to Elemental Review. Here we go. You can go into style and do lots of wonderful things with your text. You can change the color to whatever you would like to have. Let's make it a blue color. Okay, done, please. And we'll make it a bit bigger. We hello. I could do all sorts of things. Make it a bit heavier. Make the style italic. All sorts of stuff here. And choose whichever font family you would like to have. Uh, this list goes on. Um, when I first set up my website, I spent a good couple of evenings going through this to really find my ideal font that was going to suit my website. So I recommend you spend time doing that as well. Let's just change it to that for a moment, a default. Let's go back to the text color. It didn't want to work for some reason. Now it is. There we go. Good. So we've got the basic set up with the text there. And you can go to advanced. You really need to play around and get used to it. It offers you so much cool stuff. Motion effects. Motion effects, what do you want to do? I don't know if you've ever worked with PowerPoint, then it's very similar. So you can ask your text to fade in. You can change the speed, the duration. Um, <clears throat> bouncing down. Lo loads of loads of good stuff you can do. Change the background. Background, please. So you have normal background. Let's say we want the color to be. Now the yellow is probably a bit horrible, isn't it? Let's try orange, not such a orange. There we go. And if we hover on it, you can make the background change color when you're hovering the mouse over it. So let's make it that dark orange color. Great, let's see if it will show us. There we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. You can have hours of fun in here just playing around with it. What else? Responsive, this is really cool. Um, you can say if you want it to show on a mobile, on a desktop, or if you want to hide it. For example, if you go down here, you can see what it's going to look like on your mobile phone and then all of a sudden it's looking pretty terrible. And you can choose to completely change your text when you're in the mobile phone view, mo view mode. So let's go back to our style and say actually I uh, don't like what that's looking like at the moment. Let's do this. Let's just make it a bit smaller because that's actually a bit, oops. Bit too unfriendly if I'm on my mobile phone. Look, that's looking a lot better now. Right, let's go back to the desktop view, see how we're doing now. As you can see, the text here has not changed size, and for the mobile, it has. So, that is an amazing trick and option to know. Um, because, and also, when you're setting up your website, please make sure you do regularly check each page because you don't want it to look awful on a mobile phone. And most people are you know, on their mobile phones rather than sitting down at the laptop, remember that. Right, so with the picture, we can click on the picture, we can choose an image. Let me have a look what I've got. Maybe I can share something with you from here. Let's take a diffuser, pop it in. Right, so we've put in a lovely picture. Don't like the size, it's much too big. You can take one of the automatic options or you can actually custom size it and tell, okay, I actually want it to be 300 by 350, please, and keep playing around with it until it really suits you what it's looking like. As you can see, that's looking, not looking so cool now. Let's just go back to what they offered us. Right, some really basics here. Let's go back and see what else is on the menu. What else can we do? A spacer, right? Space is really handy when, for example, here the text is a bit higher. So I make sure I fit the spacer inside the same box as the text. And then I can tell the spacer to get a bit smaller. So then I've got the text adjusted to the middle of where this image is. It looks a lot better now. 
We can put in another inner section. There it is. And when we're in this inner section, I can add new columns to it. Just keep on adding. All I've done there is gone up to the corner, pressed my right mouse button and add new column. And again, inside these columns, you can add whatever you fancy. So you can add in more images, text, videos. If you've got it, just keep playing around with it until you're happy. Um, another great option is that you can copy and paste or you just duplicate. See, we've got it again and I can pull this over here. So once you've got your style settings made for one box, you just pull it into the next one. You do not need to go through all the work again. It's that simple. And when you've got a section, you simply click on here and you choose the style. And you can do all sorts of things with the coloring of the background. So let's say we're going to have this one. We're going to choose the color pink. And I've got chosen a faded background in this case. So I want my second color to be a bit less bright than that. Let's make it a bit less. And it does it automatically. So you can see straight away what you're doing. That's so easy to use. OK, so that will do for now on those examples. There's so much more to do to change the whole background of the page. That's something useful to know. You go back into your settings and there, then you have the general settings for the whole page. So if I go to style here, then I can choose a background for my whole page. And in this case, perhaps a gray color, and you can play around with it again, easy as that. And again, we can go back and have a look at it in a different mode. Let's go back to my mobile phone look. Mm -hmm. I would probably want to play around with that a lot more afterwards, but for now, we know the basics and we've got it in there. You can always save a draft. So once you've saved it, we'll go to publish. You can then have a look at your page, go to preview. And here we go. That's what it looks like at the moment. Not bad for a start. Right, let's go out of there again. Before my newsletter pops in and you can go back to the dashboard, exit to dashboard. Good. And then we're back on the background page. And it tells you here what the link is now to the page we've just made. So you can carry on playing with your pages, make more and more pages, copy and paste page from page to page. It's really that simple. And that's great for a little overview of how easy it really is to create a web page. You can literally create your website within one evening, within a few hours. That's why I've loved it so much. I hope I've been able to give you a really good overview about how Elemental works and really how simple a drag and drop page builder is. If you would like to use Elementor, then just drop down here. There's a little arrow at the edge. You can drop down and it will open up a whole load of text. And I've put in a link to Elementor, then you can find it. Just follow the link and you can have a look at the pricing packages, which one suits you best and basically get going. It's really as simple as that. Thanks for listening to me today. I hope I've given you some encouragement just to show you how easy it really is to start building up your own website. Follow me underneath, click the link and follow me. I'd love to hear from you. Add any comments, any questions you've got. If you are going to use Elementor, tell me how you get on or ask me if I can do any more tutorials for you because I really have learned a lot along my way. So I hope I can help you out even more. So bye for now.